Champaign County was organized in 1833 with Urbana as its county seat. So the city grew up around the courthouse. The streets would be bustling with travelers who came to town as part of the steady stream of court cases and legal filings or to visit the office of the lawyers, surveyors, and real estate agents that established offices nearby. Shops, livery stables, and hotels opened around the courthouse vying for business. Twice a year, the circuit court held sessions, typically for two to three days to a week. A small band of lawyers traveled the circuit together, staying at the same country hotels, riding and driving together over the country, and trying cases together, or more frequently, opposing each other. This is what brought Abraham Lincoln to Urbana. Beginning in 1841 and ending with his last visit in October 1859, Lincoln's friend, Henry Whitney, remembered. I saw him as he drove into town behind his own horse, which was an indifferent, raw-boned specimen, and his own blacksmith made buggy. He was entirely alone and might have passed toward an ordinary farmer as far as appearances were concerned. Despite his humble impression, Lincoln was probably the leading lawyer on the circuit. Unlike others, he traveled the whole route and rarely went home. It helped that he formed a close bond with the circuit judge, David Davis, often sharing a room with him. While it was not unusual for a lawyer to take the gavel in the judge's absence, Lincoln substituted for Davis with some regularity. In 1858 alone, Lincoln filled in as judge for Davis in 95 cases. This friendship and respect continued when President Lincoln appointed Davis to the Supreme Court in 1862. What types of cases did Lincoln handle in Urbana? They were typically civil cases, including divorces, estates, personal injury, slander, contracts, lay and title disputes, foreclosures, and a substantial amount of collection work for both debtor and creditor. He was involved in two murder cases in Urbana and lost both. But it would be wrong to think of Lincoln as a country lawyer. His clients included some of the community's leading citizens. In between the two circuit sessions each year, he argued cases in the Illinois Supreme Court in Springfield, in the federal district and circuit courts in Springfield and Chicago. He served as an attorney of record in six U.S. Supreme Court cases between 1849 and 1861. Even before Lincoln was elected president and left the circuit, Urbana residents were pushing for improvements to the courthouse, especially when it seemed that the growing city of Champaign fought to take away the designation as county seat. A new courthouse, the county's fourth, was completed in 1860. It would be 40 years before Champaign County built a new courthouse, and then only after the County Board of Supervisors weighed plans to remodel the existing building and add a third floor. Finally, in 1900, supervisors committed to a new structure and hired 27-year-old Joseph Royer to design the new building, an Urbana native. Royer graduated from the University of Illinois in 1895 with a degree in civil engineering. The building, completed for $150,000, was done in the Richardsonian Romanesque style that was popular at that time for public buildings. Hallmarks of the style are the rusticated red sandstone and the mottled brick exterior, the tall clock tower and the arched windows. The tower was struck by lightning at least four times, leading the county to lop off the upper section in 1952, leaving the courthouse with a very different look. In 2002, a $27 million addition was built to the east of the old structure. In recent years, the historic 1901 tower has been restored and the original Seth Thomas clockworks dating from 1877 were repaired and placed back in the tower in 2009 through a citizens fundraising effort. We invite you to step inside the courthouse and visit an exhibit that tells more about Lincoln's years in Champaign County. <music>